So what are we going to be doing? Hold on. What are we going to be doing? Axe throwing. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. Axe throwing. Maybe Just a bit like, like that. that. Drinking. And what are you doing? Drinking. <laughs> and that, yeah, and drinking. Shall we do the... Uh, axe throwing first. Yes. No. <laughs> Welcome to another episode. I was very lucky last week. I went to um, a place called Whistlepunks in Manchester to throw some axes for my birthday with my sister, her girlfriend and my husband. Uh, it was great. We had a great time. It was... Um, quite difficult to get the hang of but we had loads of fun in the process it wasn't too competitive um because it was so difficult to get the hang of that nobody was actually better than anyone else so it was fun it was really good the idea of throwing axes for entertainment has, has always um appealed to me i think it's the the idea of the competitiveness of a skill that's been around for thousands of years, uh, I, I, I just the, the fact that there's targets that you can have a go at throwing at, and obviously, I mean, people throwing heavy objects at targets has been around for a very very long time, and the fact that they can now do it in the middle of a city and in a built up area as entertainment with drinking and laughing and I, I think it's just amazing um, and that whole link between modern and history I really wanted to capture that in a painting so I painted this one I wanted to get that the target within a surroundings of some trees and I chose oak, ash and thorn. Didn't choose hawthorn though. Um, I used blackthorn. Uh, when Rudyard Kipling wrote the lyrics to the song Oak and Ash and Thorn, he did mean hawthorn. But um, I found that the hawthorn leaves were a bit too close to the oak leaves for the painting. So I did blackthorn. That's my version. <laughs> I'm sure Rudyard Kipling won't mind too much. But yeah, the, the, this idea of um, in the woods, the, tri the, 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 the three trees that are brought together in a ceremony tradition for all these years. And um, that's the place that I wanted to put my target board in nature, in the woods, where the handles came from. I mean, the, the painting itself is actually one of the exercises for the art course that I'm not going to talk about anymore because I'm not going to keep saying that it's nearly finished and it's nearly out. Um, I'm just going to wait now until it's out and then tell you about it. Uh, so, yeah, ag throwing. I thoroughly recommend it. Have a go. And if you can't throw axes, go make some axes. Me and my husband's actually made some axes at a place called Highfield Forge. I'll show you what they look like. Here we go. This is mine. Um, not for throwing. We actually forged these at Highfield Forge. Handles were pre-made. We just needed to add those on. But um, the metal is um, made, it, it's already put together. So what we, the bit you do on the day is actually flaring this out, getting the edge on it, and then um, making the hole big enough to actually put the handle into. Um, fantastic day, we had loads of fun. They do all sorts of things at Highfield. My, uh, my husband did a, made a knife blade as well. This is my husband's. He actually added a, a little bit more. He got um, a little case for it, a little holder for it, and also 
uh, a little buckle so you can hang it on the belt and he's put some cord through the end. So yeah, um, great axes. We, he has used this one actually um, and they do work uh, uh, but slightly different to the throwing axes. I, w I wonder if they would actually work if you threw them or whether they'd just like be an absolute mess. I don't know. Um, so I thoroughly recommend Highfield Forge and I recommend this place. Whistlepunk axe throwing. Great place. And here's the painting. This is the painting. We have uh, the concentric circles of the target. Wanted those to really stand out. The ash leaves, the blackthorn at the bottom, and the oak leaves there. Yeah, quite pleased with it. Um, not bad. And I'll show you how I painted this as well.
retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution Oh yeah, we want retribution So thanks very much for watching and please like, subscribe, um, share the videos with other people, watch a few more that I've made and I'll keep on travelling, I'll keep on doing different things and I'll keep on making videos of things I've painted relating to places I've been. I'm hoping to do more painting on locations as well. Uh, if you do have any questions about my painting process or um, things that I do, feel free to leave a question in the comments and I'll answer them for you. Thanks very much and I'll see you soon. Bye.